Just one second. All right, now we are alive. Hello, everyone. Um, I am Mei Chen, founder of Cosmi Citizens. I'm very glad. I'm very glad to be here today to chair the panel uh, of the global visions of female uh, entrepreneurs from Asia. And today uh, we will have four speakers discuss about this topic. And since this is the second time Horasis is sharing the community community to talk about global issues, especially after the pandemic online, using the platform around the world. I'm very honored to be a co-organizer on the panel. So as one of the most forward-thinking global visions, women empowerment platforms in China, Cosmic Citizen has been working on women equality and promoting women development as one of its core missions. And as the founder, we've created this panel together with uh, Horasis. Today, Asia is one of the most active economic markets and 38% of the world's billionaires reside in the region, many are women, creating a lasting legacy for future generations. We should ask this question, what are the global visions and how can this be promoted? And how are Asian female entrepreneurs different from their counterparts in other regions? And let's welcome four speakers from Global Priority Directors of Cosmic Citizens um, in our community and also Jenny from the Philippines. Let's start from our first speaker. Jenny, welcome. The platform is yours. Uh, thank you, May. And uh, it's a privilege to be here. So uh, I want to ask your answer your question by um, starting to share with some statistics, right? So um, according to the National Women's Council, women-owned firms have an economic impact of $3 trillion, mm -hmm. which results into the creation and maintenance of 23 million jobs. Yeah. Now, a separate study by the right management shows that companies with female leadership, like directors, CEOs, generally perform better in terms of its share price, return on equity, income growth, and tend to have less debt and higher valuations. Yeah. So my vision is actually very simple, and COVID has actually made this vision even more relevant and imperative, which is that every woman should be encouraged and empowered to have the mindset that they can be whoever they want to be, which includes either working or starting and running their own business. Yeah. I'm actually very fortunate. I run and founded multiple manufacturing companies in the Philippines. We are in plastics manufacturing and also food manufacturing. For our food manufacturing, we, we manufacture and distribute our own brand of cookies and food ingredients, both locally and internationally. And we employ over 2,000 employees. Wow. I'm happily married. I have two kids, 25 and 23 years old, both doing very well. And I would like to have all women to have this opportunity. And I believe the, the way to go about this is through education, both formal and informal. And uh, I am happy to go deeper into this as we have this conversation. Would you like me to answer your second question? Like uh, uh, how, how Asian women are different? Yep. Yeah. So the way I see it fundamentally, May, I actually don't see any difference. Mm -hmm. We are all basically women, mothers, sisters, daughters, mm -hmm. trying to be productive and making an impact on society. Yes. If there's any difference at all, it may be just how we approach things because of our cultural background and uh, perspective. Again, I'm happy to go deeper into that as we have this conversation. Um, yeah, thank you. Thank you so much, Jenny. Um, so uh, based on the speech given by Jenny, we know that she's a very successful entrepreneur, entrepreneur from the Philippines. She is the CFO of um, Plasman Industrial Corporation, and she ha actually has an undergraduate degree and MBA from the University of Western Australia. So she's a certified Australian uh, chartered accountant. We know she's balanced very well in business and also in her life, married with two, two children, and she loves to play piano. As we can see, if you have set goals in your life, if you achieve that as Jenny, you don't see the difference between men and women, you can achieve it all. So um, Jenny has shared her opinion with us about this topic, and now let's welcome the four speakers from China to talk about their vision towards the world. Um, from an uh, Asian entrepreneur's perspective. And uh, who would be the first speaker? Mm. 
Please, the platform is yours. They told me it was okay. Yes, please. Um, I'm Ren. I'm Ren Zhu from China. Um, I'm so glad to see you here um, and to be happy to share with you of my observation of um, Asian uh, female entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. um, I see there are two very obvious uh, transformative developments uh, this year in China. I see the female development of, uh, I would say, uh, two words to describe them. One is outbound development, and the other is inbound, inward exploration. Um, as for the outbound part, um, I, I saw that they enjoy much more freedom to air their views about uh, politics, economics, and the life at the international arena, like a bit today. And uh, this is in sharp contrast to uh, to be a traditional obedient housewives in the past. And uh, secondly, they are more uh, creative in business models, exploration, and uh, very adaptive to technology innovation. And maybe you have seen that many Chinese uh, women, they promote sales through the live streaming, or, uh, or the live broadcast to sell the goods uh, or to promote the business. Um, through this, they successfully built their own IP. I think this is very important for the women to uh, speak out for themselves. And uh, also they are very ambitious to participate in more broad uh, issues like the government jobs or to be the society leaders. Um, on the other side, uh, when we are reaching out to the um, outward to, for more business opportunities and uh, for more political um, opportunities, we are trying to inward exploration. Um, you know, China is embarking on a very fast development. Uh, so this consequently causes the inner side anxiety and a lot of uh, peer pressure and a confusion in the heart. Um, in contrast to the men, to the gentlemen, uh, we Chinese um, women are more willing uh, to be straightforward to face this problem through many um, active, um, active uh, motions like uh, Join the comic citizens courses of May to pro promote the spiritual growth and uh, to practice meditation and also be more open to share our um, anxieties and uh, our heart to the sisters and to the friends to seek help so that we can f become more faster to unleash the pressure and the stress and to find the inner strength and to stretch forward in a much more big state. I think this is a, um, that can embody that express that we are being more open-minded than before and they also very uh, care about the life and uh, work balance and uh, they have more um, say about fashion, they are more open-minded to everything around the world. I think they are growing very fast. Um, as to the second question about what's the difference uh, comparing to the other part, uh, in my view, I see that maybe, for example, comparing to Philippines or to many other Asian, Southeast Asian um, countries, we have less um, the prime minister, we have less head um, leaders of the country. Maybe in the future, gradually we'll be there. And uh, uh, during the past two decades, we've seen the major and very obvious development in every aspect. And uh, I think next decade, we'll see greater progress in this regard. And uh, I'm very happy to share with you. And back to you, May.
Thank you. Thank you so much, Ren. That's a great perspective. Most of the time, when we talk about female entrepreneurs, we think about the balance between the family and the business. We never thought about actually we need to explore inward and we need to explore outward. That is the balance between the person need to do her, herself. And Cosmic Citizen is such a platform to empower women all over the world, especially Chinese women, Asian women, to have the ability to take care of themselves first, to be empowered. So uh, let me share with you uh, an introduction about Ren. Possible you can um, tell from her beautiful British accent. She uh, has studied in the UK. She actually is a fellow FCO alumni with me, a uh, um, chief scholar, and she graduated from University of College London, uh, UCL. One stood from ashes to new. Ren actually is a keen learner of women empowerment, the person I spiritually grow. She is dedicated to helping Chinese families, especially those single women, as just mentioned, and new housewives to counter unexpected life crisis through entrepreneurship opportunities. So she has over 20 years experience in insurance and investment industries. I would encourage all the entrepreneurs or female entrepreneurs or anyone with interest in insurance planning, get in touch with her. Thank you so much, Ren, again. And now this, you know, I uh, welcome the second speaker from Cosmic Citizen Platform, a true leader. And let's give the platform to you all. Kelly, please. Hello. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm very happy to be here uh, today. And I'm impressed by all your speeches previously. Um, I want to say that I think that is kind of like a unique um question or problem to all the business women all over the world um, about the choice, as we mentioned, the balancing career or family, especially in Asia. Why especially in Asia? I actually um, random um, uh, broke into the panel room of the gender gap this morning, and I can still um, see that uh, many female leaders were talking about the gender gaps still exist um, in the world, especially in Asia, because uh, our culture uh, is different from the Western culture. Uh, I myself study in the United States, and I can say that you know in Asia, uh, culturally, people um, think that women should spend more time on family stuff, right? Mm -hmm. um, but there is also the new trend, as uh, Ren mentioned, that um, there is a new trend in China. Um, in the recent Huren report from the richest 100 self-made women 2020 list, and we can find um, nine out of the top 10 are from China. And also, as uh, Ren mentioned, that a lot of female uh, leaders now are uh, jumping into the new business industry like the e-commerce, like broadcasting. So um, in the you know online related business, this number reaching to about 55%, which means that female entrepreneurs is outstretched the male entrepreneurs. Um, I think that, you know, Many people, um, I mean, the female entrepreneurs facing the pressure that they cannot take good care of the family. Uh, because from the research study, we can say that um, women spend a lot of time on the unpaid work, such as the housekeeping, taking care of the kids and the parents. Um, so we should have a way, we should face this fact that we are, you know, born differently from the men. So I think that there are ways that we can kind of balance this. The first thing, because I'm uh, studying some old Chinese um, culture and wisdom, I found some balancing uh, from this ancient wisdom. Um, in the West, we, we are saying that we are striving for the gender equity, but I think the real gender equity is fulfilling the talents of each other, but not striving for, you know, like pushing women to be like men. And in uh, the, you know, uh, there is a picture I can share with you. You know, this yin and yang yeah. 
symbol, yeah, yin and yang symbol, which means that um, this symbol means that uh, yin has a yang dot inside and yang has a yin uh, has a yin dot inside. It means that everything contains the seeds of its object. Yin and yang rely on each other and can turn into each other, like the two sides of the coin. As we have the you know successful female leaders like Jenny, like Ren, so we can do our own business well, but we are not you know striving for the energy from the other side. If we can learn well from the symbol, I think we can find a balance from it. And secondly, I think that um, we women should learn how to love ourselves because, as I mentioned, that we were born differently. Um, women might be more fragile and sensitive, but in the meanwhile, we are better at risk management, better at observation and communication. If we can fulfill our talents and find the right place to, to use it, I think that, you know, uh, there will be more space for women and female entrepreneurs to grow. Uh, lastly, I want to mention that, um, I don't know, Jenny, uh, if you have this kind of supporting system, uh, what I observed for those successful female entrepreneurs that can balance family and career well, they normally have a supporting system. For example, you have people that taking care of for you, or your parents or your husband is supportive emotionally, or they can share part of the housework, so this is kind of the supporting system. And because I'm running a family office, I am building up my own supporting system. Like, you know, in China nowadays, to be a mom is not easy, right? So you have to, you know, plan the events within the family. You have to be an event planner and you have to know something about the house because you have to take care of the family members. And you even have to be a detective when you want to know who your kids are dating, right? So you need different skills. And we have to admit that we can't to, to, you know, learn everything ourselves. It's time consuming, right? So we can build a platform and a system that break the kingship. Then we have the professionals, like the lawyers, the nurse, nursery experts, uh, like the financial advisors, like uh, the teachers, family doctors to support us. Then we can focus on what we are good at and we can, you know, focus on what we love and we can keep the passion in life. Thank you. I really love your perspective, uh, seeing this uh, topic as more spiritual perspective. Let me share a little bit of background uh, about Kelly with you all. She's the founder and CEO of Everfortune Family Office, so the leading family office in legacy planning and family empowerment in Asia. She has built a think tank with over more than 20 experts in different fields globally. And she has she and her team has been dedicating helping Asian family in uh, implementation in the field as I just mentioned. She's also a scholar in political science in the United States. She has graduated from the City University of Hong Kong. So very well experienced in both China, Shanghai, Hong Kong, and the US. So a very wide perspective. We would like to discuss more with you, just share more uh, ideas with you uh, on this topic later in the discussion session. And now, uh, if I may, let's invite Kate to give her opinion on the topic. Okay, hello everyone. My name is Kenny, Yi and I come from Shanghai. I'm a mother of two little girls. Yes, I want to show you. One is here. And <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> yes, we are two, two of us are here and uh, we together to, uh, to do our speech today. Today is very special and it is the first time that I'm making a speech online, especially English. <laughs> which is, I really cherish these five minutes with all of you. I'm currently engaged in social organization work as the Secretary General of Anhui Chamber of Commerce, Shanghai. Anhui is the Eastern Chinese province with a population of 62 million and is known for its majestic Huangshan Mountains, 
The 110 industrial and commercial enterprises of Anhui open in Shanghai. And the Anhui Chamber of Commerce, Shanghai acts as a between the Anhui government and the interpreters in Shanghai. And our members, which now number more than 1,200, are involved in various theories. Okay, I looked at the data and I found that 20% of them are female entrepreneurs. Wow. And you know, there's a branch of women entrepreneurs under our Chamber of Commerce. And just two days ago, I attended a meeting of the Women Enterprise branch, which was more of a warm gathering than a meeting. You know, the women, the entrepreneurs, come in beautiful clothes, they talk nicely to each other before the meeting and they developed their own insights. And at heart, put together after the meeting. You know, we talked about family ideas, I particularly like the admire Zhu Ying, the president of the Association of Women. In the past few years, she organized the female entrepreneurs of Anhui Chamber of Commerce Shanghai to perform the Chung uh, Sang Show in Milan, Italy. You know, they showcasing the beauty of Chinese culture. At that time, the delegation was received by the leaders of both countries. When I watched these videos and the photos at the meeting of that day, I found everyone who had saw the videos and the tears in their eyes. And they were full of pride. I think this is a global vision of female Chinese entrepreneurs. They not only bring their own enterprises to the international market, but also that the world know the Chinese culture and the beauty. On a more personal level, I believe that Asian women entrepreneurs are very good at balancing their career and family. This is an extraordinary year in which COVID-19 has changed the whole world. You know, but I'm busier and further than any other year. My staff have been joking with me that they said, Kate, you are busy every day, but by the way, you have a baby. <laughs> <laughs> I think most of the successful Asian female entrepreneurs not only reparate success, but also play multiple roles in the family, such as mother, daughter, daughter-in-law, and wife. You know, before I worked as Secretary General of Anhui Chamber of Commerce Shanghai, I have been deeply involved in fields of television media and the cultural tourism. For nearly 10 years, I worked in Joy Yu Li Mama Group. And I'm handling 300 people, and I'm a person who loves life, travel, and the learning. I'm also a lifelong learner. I speak four languages, Chinese, English, French, and Spanish. I had traveled to nearly 80 countries. Yes, I'm lucky. <laughs> my current goal is to have great ambitions through my own awareness and efforts. At the same time, as a woman in the new era of China, I'm not only making a move in my own work, but I'm also an active business investor. At present, I have invested uh, gym, tourism, restaurants, and the other industries. I have always been learning through experience and exploration. Finally, I would like to say thank God, thank my little daughter is not kicking me hard, disturbing me <laughs> in the belly. I finally finished this English thing, and thanks to May, uh, thanks my best friend. Uh, also, it's not a perfect speech, but uh, it is another breakthrough for me. And especially thank you for your patience. You who inspired me to complete this speech successfully. Thank you. Thank you for everyone. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you so much, thank Kate. You. That is a very beautiful speech. Uh, I think Kate probably is the most hard working woman I ever know. She's pregnant right now. She works probably 10 hours a day and there's a huge team over 300 people when she was working with mama and now she's uh, established in this chamber. She's the woman who traveled to the most countries I ever know, 80 countries in total. And, and she got to know me uh, in one of my uh, companies. Uh, 
uh, account. So um, she has learned how to paint. And now, um, so she has shared who she is, very excellent example of women who achieve success with her own efforts. And now let's welcome uh, Tang Tang, the founder of Iris and the president of Iris Bakery. The stage is yours, please. Hello, beautiful ladies. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Tang Tang, Global Private Director of Com Comic Citizens and the founder and president of Ground on Aries Electric Appliance Corporation Limited Company. Over the years, our, my company, uh, my company's hot air circulation oven, fermentation box, cook machine, and other products continue to be in the leading position in the industry with a focus on providing one step service of medium-sized baking equipment at the leader in the industry of China online. Aries is dedicated to helping millions of Chinese small business owners, such as baker, especially women. Women cannot go to work, they are uh, taking baby, taking baby in the house. To, so these people, these women, I, I can help them to achieve their Chinese dream through one equipment at a time. I was born in a mountain of Hubei province. My childhood memory is not gorgeous clothes or toys. The mountain and the small ponds are the most important are the most uh, important companions. I was a normal country girl, so I know I have to work hard to get results. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm. As an entrepreneur, entrepreneurship is a process, and there is no absolute end point in this process. Entrepreneurs are te and teams are only continuous improve their connective ability. In fact, connective ability is our ability to discover and solve a no problem. It can make us prepare for rainy days. Even in, if in the face of market challenges, we can quickly change strategies and gain a firm foot forward. In 2020, in next year, next year, we will speed up the development of overseas markets. After investigation, our baking equipment meets all the character, characteristics required by European consumers, such as reliability, energy saving, quality, and high cost performance. Therefore, it has become a very attractive product in the continental, uh, continental in, in Europe market. Our convection oven series stops unique glass panel design steers which forms to the pursuit of U Europe. Fashion and, and the, what we had done and uh, next year, so we, we want to we want to gain a lot of uh, cost performance and build a global leading brand of a commercial oven. That's what we uh, that's what we will do. So uh, I see yes I see uh, there will there will always be flowers and mud on the road to entrepreneurship. Opportunities are always reserved for those who are ready to start their business. And last, more and uh, more, and more baking, baking in China want to start baking business uh, over, over this. Uh, however, it was difficult to find stable and satisfied equipment online and often over online between, uh, between commercial equipment and home home machine, I was very surprised to find the market gap and select a bunch of products through professional and process selection mode mass of the commercial oven. In understanding these products, we, supp we supplied all kinds of baking equipment and finally screen out the products that meet our expectations. Mm. So, so uh, the future is ours. Future is, uh, I, I think, future is not a beyond beyond to women and also beyond to women. So, uh, let's see the world. <laughs> Great. Thank you. This is Thank my stage. Thank you so much. So, um, Tang Tang herself is a self-made story, as you can tell. Her, she's the founder of our bakery and also a global product director of Cosmic Citizens. And with her own efforts, she built a multi-million 
R&B brand of Ours Bakery. And as the president of Ours Bakery, she has proved that with her efforts, she can make it all. Over the years, Ours hot air circulation oven has been becoming the number one uh, seller in the industry with a focus providing the one-stop service of the medium-sized bakery equipment. And there's a the Iris brand has become a leader in the industry. She and her brand dedicated to helping millions of Chinese small business owners, such as bakers, especially women, to achieve the China dream through one uh, equipment at a time. So I think it's a good time for us to, to discuss, such as Tang Tang and Jenny. Both of you are manufacturers. You have your own brand, you build a great team, and I would like you two to discuss what is the obstacles, challenges in front of you to build an international brand from where you are based in Philippines or in China? Um, I would like to give the platform to Jenny and Tang Tang to start with. Okay, so um, thank you, May. So I, I think um, following from what I, I initially talked about, it all starts with the mindset, right? So um, um, there's a study from McKinsey that says that uh, women, whether in, in Asian countries or in Western countries, still uh, are having this self-limiting mindset, right? Which is, you know, they're limited that uh, to only do certain things and they can't do this and that. And even the schools that they're coming from, um, they're, the, 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 you know, the McKinsey report suggests that the teachers in those schools still stereotype boys and girls and educate them according to their gender-based attributes, right? So I feel that uh, for us to have a breakthrough, to go global, to do whatever it is we want to do, uh, mm -hmm. it's, it has to start with the mindset yeah. uh, that uh, we can virtually do anything uh, we want to do uh, and, and put our mind into it. Uh, and for the Philippines, um, we're very lucky in the sense that um, the gender gap is not as huge as it is in other uh, Asian countries and or, or so, but still there's a lot of work to be done there. Yeah. Uh, and I feel that, uh, and especially the, st the statistics that I, I, I mentioned before, that uh, women who tend to lead companies uh, tend to have companies that are actually more uh, profitable and, and, and you know, uh, in terms of share price perform better. So I think we need to have uh, more, more women uh, entrepreneurs um, out there. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jenny. I absolutely agree. Everything starts with a mindset. Mindset is the only thing that uh, hinders you from going to the next step. How about you, Tang Tang? What is your biggest challenge building an international uh, brand? Mm -hmm. uh, I think the most important challenge is maybe is uh, uh, different cultural culture shock. I think this is m most uh, important things. Maybe our ways can make success in our in China in our past when we start our business. It maybe works, but in in different country we maybe uh, um, you maybe to do more uh, to to do more uh, research research uh, to know the people's. Uh, buying, buying, buying habits, buying habits. Maybe our, maybe our design, maybe our uh, ovens, ovens color, ovens uh, the shapes and uh, can consumes uh, Europe, Europe, Europe's fashion and simple the style. It maybe meet their, meet their, meet, uh, meet their, uh, meet their pursuits. But, but maybe the 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 selling, the selling ways, the markets. And uh, strategies, maybe uh, we need to uh, to know more about the the local company to learn more about from the local company. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes, so. thank you. Um, I absolutely agree. I've traveled to over thirty countries. I've seen the difference in different cultures, especially between the east and the west, and the select yeah. color, the individual individualism against the collectivism in in China. That all the different. <laughs> So that's all the challenges yeah. you face. It would be great for you girls, your successful entrepreneurs, to give this kind of guide or help towards the women who just start, to empower them, to, to give them this motivation that actually they can be there too. Thank you so much, Tang Tang and Jenny, for giving your um, advice. And now I would like to uh, invite both 
Kelly, and then to talk about your spiritual side as a female entrepreneur. How does that help you to become more global, more broad-minded, instead of confining yourself to the Asian culture? Kelly? Okay. Um, uh, from my own experiences, I, I have... Um, some understanding about that because uh, I'm coming from a state-owned company. I've been there for more than 15 years and uh, then to seeking for more freedom, time and more uh, be different experience and uh, uh, chances. So I quit when without any new job uh, in my site mm -hmm. um, because um, uh, like May, we have the Chivani Scholarship, and uh, we've been there studying in UK for one year. And uh, we just not uh, about uh, a master degree. To me, it's a paradigm shift. It's a mindset shift for me yeah. to see different lifestyle, uh, to see different uh, chances, um, to see different life. I so I define the million police and the fulfill when it's, uh, it's different. So I begin to uh, break my life into two parts. One is the state-owned, the very disciplined one. The other is, uh, uh, as the Jenny said, that we are limited by our thoughts. So I just break my, up my thoughts. And uh, then I strike forward one step and quit from the state-owned company. And then I, from from scratch and begin to learn about investment and the financial issues and uh, get a, a lot of certificates from the insurance association and from the fund investment association. And when I study gradually, I feel more confident and I feel I can get a better job. And so I look into equity investment um, companies and the seminars and I joined uh, a lot of programs and I successfully helped some very uh, major and famous uh, 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 programs to get the finance. So I'm proud of this because um, I've taken this courageous step forward and uh, I think many more women are doing this. Um, so I think they are, we will be more round experience life experience yes. uh, yeah so i think the best thing is just uh, not uh, about everything is secure um if we have the mindset to better our best to improve ourselves mentally um and financially and spiritually we always got chance we always have the power to empower ourselves and uh, empower our sisters around um and uh, during this uh journey um i owe a lot to me to comic citizenship i got a lot uh, from the courses because a lot of um uh, friends and sisters study here we can see each other like a mirror and uh, when i see the very outstanding uh like the kate kelly and the Tang Tang, they're doing this and they give me a lot of inspiration. And I need to be more bold in the mm. business uh, entrepreneurship. And uh, I think we will. Thank you. Thank Back you. to you. Kate. Thank you. Thank you so much. And that's a very powerful and strong message delivered from you and very humble. Um, in the Cosmic Citizen community, we empower all the women from all walks of life. And you already have a very rich experience both in China and in the UK. And as you said, we have the ability to empower ourselves and the sisters around us. If you have this key message in your head and you will shine from, from inward, not just gaining the motivation from others. I am sure all the global product directors for Cosmic Citizens such as Kay, Tan Tan and Kelly all learn from you as well. I truly appreciate what you said about Cosmic Citizens. And I would like to invite Cal to share your thoughts uh, based on the question I just asked. The stage is yours. Oh, we have four minutes left. Kelly, 
the stage is yours. And then I will go to the last question to Kate, please. I think you're on mute. Uh, okay. Thank okay. you, Mary. Thank you, May. Um, I think as Rem mentioned that we all have the limitations of ourselves. And I've practiced yoga and meditation for many years. So some people are curious why you are doing this. Why you, you know, uh, abandon your time on this kind of <laughs> waste of time thing. Right, but uh, to me, I think that it do help me, as May mentioned, that the spiritual journey sometimes complement what we are doing for myself because um, my education background, I I was um, you know taking my um, courses in Hong Kong and then in in the United States, then I have a very strong logic side compared with other women. It's kind of like, uh, you know, advantages for uh, doing business. But on the other side, sometimes it hinders me for, you know, perceiving my feelings. And, but if you want to have uh, enough space to um, think and to move forward, then you have to connect with your inner heart. So from the meditation, I can, you know, find the deeper inner needs of myself. What's I want to do. As we, we know that uh, in Cosmic Students, we have the uh, private uh, director's courses. Then from the course that I know, oh, oh my God, what I have put on the list, uh, what I want to do is actually the superficial ones or they are just, you know, the, the things that I, I perceive the people around me wanted me to do. But after, you know, uh, I connect with my, inner hearts, then I found, oh, that's my real passion. As I, as I mentioned that each person we, uh, have the right to fulfill our talents. When we are, you know, following on the way that's doing what we are passionate about, then we can be great in the industry. And besides, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Kelly. I, I do love the passion that you have. You spend so much time exploring your spiritual side and you in, in, in embed that in your business with your team and with your family. I really love that. And in the last minute we got, I would like to give it to Kate to share your opinion about you are the only woman I know who have traveled to eight, over 80 countries. And the founder of Horizon, Frank, he has traveled nearly, I think, 90 countries. It's, We've seen the entire world almost. And I know one of my friends who has traveled to 236 um, countries. So I would like you to give an advice to the young entrepreneurs who would like to achieve where you are today. What is your biggest advice towards a global vision for a female entrepreneur? Please. Mm, from my point of view, there's a Chinese sentence called um, it means <laughs> you read thousands of books, but better you 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 go out to see the world. For me, yeah, it works. Uh, I'm lucky that I was in the travel industry in last uh, more than ten years, so I have more and more opportunities to travel around the world, and also. Because of the work, I love travel. And even my daughter, only like three, my bigger daughter, only three and a half year, she already traveled more than 10 countries. So I know the difference between before and after. She can talk, she can share the experience, she, she can compare the difference. I think the difference is not only the view, it's the point of the view, it's the vision. So. For well, my opinion, my suggest is if you have the the time, yeah, you can make the time to go out. So I I'm, I I think May is really doing the great things that travel around the world and also experience life because you know if you only go there to stand in for one week, two weeks, it's not good. It's not enough. So my my experience is like you you stay somewhere. You experience the view and also the feel the cultural difference. And the you can Yeah, it's clear. Sorry, only ten seconds. Ten seconds left. So <laughs> I would like to seize the time to thank you all, Jenny, Ren, Tang Tang. We make a great speech. I look forward to see you soon. Thank you. Our next thank talk. You. Thank you. Bye bye.
Thank, thank you, you bye. Thank you, thank you so bye. much. Bye. Bye. I'm very proud bye. of you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. I have 10% of my battery. made <laughs> 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 it. So don't worry, I look forward to seeing you soon in our new speeches and um, to get to know each other in the offline event, either in the United uh, Nations organized by Cosmic Citizen or co the cooperation with Horaces. They will be more fun, will be more inspirational, and I'm sure you deserve a better stage more than the, the small screen in front of you. Thank you so much to everyone. Thank you, everyone. Thank nice meeting you. Thank you. Take care. Take care. Nice meeting you. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.